Let's talk about secant and tangent lines. First, a secant line shows the slope between two points on a curve. In other words, it represents the average rate of change over an interval. But a tangent line is a little different. Instead of using two points, it gives us the slope at a single point. That's called the instantaneous rate of change. Now, imagine we have two points on the curve, and we start bringing them closer and closer together. As the second point approaches the first, the secant line slowly turns into the tangent line. Mathematically, that's where the limit comes in. We use the formula, the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. That's exactly how we define the derivative of a function. And here's the cool part. Derivative, slope of the tangent line, instantaneous rate of change, these all mean the same thing. Just like secant line, slope of the secant line, and average rate of change are also interchangeable. So, the secant gives us the average rate of change between two points, and the tangent gives us the exact rate of change at one point. And in the next video, we're going to use this to find the equation of a tangent line.